Alrighty guys, you ready to head offshore? Yes, sir. All right, well today we're gonna to be targeting mahi. Uh, we can get into tuna, we'll be vertical jigging those. A lot of times, like when I offshore fish, birds are key, all right? I'm gonna use my Fruno radar to find the birds, but I also need your eyes too. Everybody looking, is the, be the more eyes the better. We're gonna be looking for birds, boards, weed lines, anything like that that's gonna attract these fish. That's gonna hold the bait fish, which is what's gonna hold the mahi. So that's what we're looking for. If you see a pallet floating, that's a gold mine. So just keep your eyes open, anything weird floating, bird working, just point them out. I may stop, I may not. If it's floating, I'm gonna stop. If it's a bird, just kinda dip in, cruise in. I won't stop, but I'm gonna watch them. He may lead you to another flock of birds that is working on mahi. So just kinda point everything out. We may stop, we may not. All right, let's get that Fruno. Fired up. So that's, he's got a bird mode. Remember I was telling you the bird. Yeah. It's called bird mode, right? Yeah, yeah, you got bird mode on there. And, um, you know, I find a lot of times, you know, just just right out of the box, uh, the uh, auto setting standard is, 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 is great. Awesome. But today we're gonna show you everything, the ins and outs from rigging ballyhoo, setting the lines, keeping it simple in dolphin fishing. So you guys ready for it? Yeah. All right. On this weed line it's still shallow 167 feet but there's been a lot of fish in here in this range so I like to just set up get everything you know get the lines out on the first thing that you see as a trial run this way here everybody's familiar with the way like how we want to set up or how your guys set up and then that way there if you do get into the action right away on the next set of birds it, you, you, you're probably here you've already got everything set so we got this big patch of weed over here, we'll be trolling by. You never know what you're gonna get, but just being ready is where it's at. So a lot of times too, now, now whenever you're just testing the waters, seeing what's there, we like to drop out two lines, and you can either use a rig ballyhoo or a lure, what it, and lures down here are great because you know, it's, you know, you get a lot of schoolies and stuff like that. Big fish will hit it. And then we like to pitch out our ballyhoo to them or put the ballyhoo on the Tigris outriggers. I've seen a dolphin, it looks like a nice one. Yeah, we're just sitting there bringing in the lines on this first patch of weed in 150 feet, 160 feet. And next thing you know, bam, have a hit. But he didn't get the hook. Hey, you just have me snake chasing you. There you go, there you go. All right, there you go, hand it. Who wants it? There you go, nice fish. Nice fish. Who wants it? Get it there. Here, JC, I'll trade you. Okay, there you go, guys. We're going to get another, let me get back here. We're going to grab another Ballyhoo. Keep going. Ballyhoo's up here in the cooler. Alright, stop, stop, stop. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. There you go. Good nice one. one. There you go. Take that. Something good of one. Yeah. yeah. Here, 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 here. We'll get a picture. There you go. There you go. So put the trollers out, and then I want to see, I want JC to show you guys how to rig a bally here. So when I do the copper wire straight to the straight to the pitch hook, I'm gonna put it right through the eye and go down the back side. And just pinch it down the back side. I'm gonna take a wrap and go down the shank of the hook. And go over that little flap. Yep, there. and go over that flap so it'll stay. And you don't need the flap to be too long. You see how short I have it? Because it'll stay once you give it a couple wraps. You want the wraps to be nice, tight, perfect. So that way when you're going to rig it, nothing gets caught. See that? Yep. How it's wrapped tightly. You want to put
poop on the Get all their insides out. And you're gonna wanna break their back. Is that just what water is? Yeah, that just gives it a little more motion. I'm gonna go under the gill here. Left or right side, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna come here. You're gonna help it. You're gonna go down and you're gonna help it by pushing down the head. And you're gonna come out. You see where it's gonna come out. You pull the skill. You're gonna grab the hook and pull it down and just shake it a little bit. And you're gonna grab this copper wire. You're gonna go around the gill, around the other gill, come back up. You're gonna take your point. And you're gonna go through the bottom out through the top. You're gonna poke just through like that right in the center. You're gonna come around. I go through the eye one time. A lot of people do it multiple times, but it really doesn't matter. And I wrap. And now I'm just gonna wrap it all the way down the beak as far as the rest of the wire will go. So it'll stay on there nice and tight be ready to pitch whenever you need it. And that's your basic value for it. If you're headed out for a day on the water, make sure you visit Tom Thumb Food Stores. Get your food, drinks, fuel, and ice all in one place. Perfect for your on-the-go Florida lifestyle. Fast, fresh, friendly. Tom Thumb Food Stores. We're going with the current. So this fish is able to swim faster down with us, so you gotta kinda keep the boat in gear sometimes just to help keep up with the speed of the current. Very cool. Skip jack. Are you taking your people real fast? Oh, they're all over. Get us a live bait or something. There's a pack oh, right I here. See I see them. I see them now. Gotta get that jig in front of their face. Go, go, go. Lift it up, lift it up. Oh, oh shit. Stay on it. Stay on it. Go, go. Yeah. Doug, get the long gap. Stay on it. Tight, Garland. Just honey. keep reeling. You're doing great. Big dolphin. Stay tight, Garland. Go all the way to the other side. Tucker, it's right here. It's right here. Go over that rod. Tuck, reach out.
use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress Anchor. Well, we've been uh, finding birds most of the morning. Big, big, big packs of them. The problem is when you get a lot of birds out here, you know, whether it's 10, 20 birds, um, a lot of times they're on like tuna or skipjack tuna. You know, I want to find like four or five, maybe, maybe 10 that are working in a real tight group right on the surface. Keep them right there in the water, tiger. So I found these water birds that kind of were staying real tight together. That's usually dolphin. Tuna spread out. When them, you see those birds spread out, the tuna's out, they're out, they're, they're, they're moving fast. When the dolphin are sitting in one little area, the birds are doing the same thing. They're sitting in one little tight area. I knew they looked different from the rest of the birds and sure enough, we got a dolphin off of it. So that's what we got to find to find fish today. It's the only way it's going to work. Yep. I knew that looked a little different. I see color. Yeah, 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 you're good. Just keep them in the water. Okay. Dolphin behind the boat. Everybody start getting baits. Bunch of them. 50, 100. Big schools. Yeah, you can check it. There we go. Nope, oh, I'm off. There we go. I'm on right here. Let's uh, get this one in on the trolling lure. There you go. Keep him in the water, keep him in the water. That's a good one. I'm waiting for that big boy to show up. So we've been out here working. We kind of came out to a little over 2,000 foot. Um, found this nice grass line, just clean edge. Free jumping dolphin everywhere off of it. We got it all to ourselves. And I think we're gonna work this till the end of the day until we find some decent big fish. I got a lot of dolphin coming up right now with them. Big schools, big school, a lot of small ones. Just pitch a couple squids out. He's eating it. He's eating, he's running. You're on. It's on. You're on, good job. Oh God, they're fucking loaded. There we go, that's a keeper. So whenever you get in a dolphin, especially a lot of these small ones, um, you hook up, you always wanna keep one in the water. Uh, Cause dolphin attract dolphin. If you can keep one in, it usually will hold the school around the boat, which gives you chances to catch the other dolphin. So, you know, and sometimes once you pull that dolphin out, the whole school will dissipate and they'll just roll out. Yeah, they're they're a schooling fish, so they they like to be with everybody. So you keep one in, you keep them fish around the boat. No matter how your time is spent on the water, Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. So a lot of times here, we'll put out two rods. We'll have the guy on the bow pitching out. You know, whenever I have you let out the lines, what I do is I use a second count. So if there's a lot of weeds around, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a 10 second count to have you drop it back. That allows you. So right here, if we, we just had weeds on there, you can shake it off a lot easier. And if there's not as much weed, I'll ask you to drop it back 15 seconds as we let it out. And and if there's like no weeds around, then I'm gonna let it out for 20 seconds get it out a little bit away from the boats, because we're gonna be pitching on these fish, or we may have the outriggers out, and then you know we'll, we'll be working those as well. So this time of year, when the mahi are around good, the marlin come. So right here's what you see on this dolphin, is a marlin trying to whack him and eat him, but he didn't get him, we got him. <laughs> but that marlin was definitely trying to get him. He got him good a couple times. Get the 
uh, cutters. He's got cutters. Biting in. Scissors. Pocket knife here. There you go. We got it. We got it. All right. There oh, you man. go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Right, right, so all right. So so here, let, let, let's bring it to the back of the boat and then ease it on in. Pull up here on a seaweed patch looking for Mahi. And JC noticed that this turtle was stuck. And he was all wrapped up here in this visor. So you guys grabbed the net and helped out this little turtle. Time to let it go. Good eyes, JC. Nice day. Oh, he's ready to go, man. Come on. That turtle, good job, buddy. Take off that other rig right there. Hey, somebody take this off. Come on, just yeah. keep him interested. He's just right take here. it off right now. Some epic shit. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. So we dropped the electric down. We're bringing it up. And next thing you know, here comes this Mako, comes in and checks out our boat. It just stayed right there, going around our motors, checking us out. It gave me enough time to twist up the number nine wire with a 9-0, put on the chunk of bait, threw it in there, and the shark ate. I was expecting it to take off, jump, sky fly, out, you know, put on a show. Just didn't happen. Stayed right there. That's the fastest shark we've ever landed. We've only taken three sharks in my whole fishing career. Mako is definitely the top eating shark, right up there with swordfish. Same exact thing, we don't kill marlin, we don't kill uh, sailfish, but a swordfish, that one we're gonna keep as well. Uh, hey look, I just wanna say, Steve spotted that fish. Let's give him credit. <laughs> yeah, Steve! Let's hear it the camera! The cameraman spotted! spotted the fish. He does one thing good all day long, and he spotted the fish. So yeah, Jack brother. Jack <laughs> And Jack, Jack closed the deal, and JC, because JC was working hard. But yeah, that was a blast. That, unbelievable. Fun. That's I it mean, for the camera guy. So yeah, the camera guy spots a fish as it goes by. The camera guy. <laughs> We're standing there, I'm like going, damn, he's right. There is a Mako over there. And we get him. So great job, see? Team effort. From camera to captain to first mate.
scară. What was it? Land shark? Land shark. <laughs> Land shark. <laughs> <laughs>